guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome to my youtube channel i hope you're doing amazing i'm sai shri and thank you so so much for being here that means the world to me and in today's video i'm going to review one of the foundations that i have been wanting to try out for so long but i was not able to get this foundation because i already had a foundation and i don't use a lot of makeup so i thought why not uh, why waste money on the products that i don't use and i just waited for uh, some time and now like i saw the right time to get this because recently there is a sale in sephora and i got this foundation for just 10 dollars and the original price was like 40 dollars so the foundation that i'm talking about is a makeup forever matte velvet skin foundation so i'm really glad that i got this for just 10 dollars and i think it's such a steal and i'm really excited to try this product today so this is my first time uh, trying this foundation it's just like a first impression until now i haven't tried out this foundation yet so i am really excited to try this out for you guys so without wasting any time let's get right into the video why i'm a bit dressed up is because i'm going out for a dinner today and i thought this is the perfect occasion to try out this new foundation and you must be wondering like how am i going to wear this foundation without knowing if this shade is the right match for me or not let me tell you i just cheated a bit and i just swatched this foundation in my jawline and i found that it's like the perfect match for my skin so i'm really confident <laughs> to wear this out so let's start with the shade of this foundation I got this in the shade Y425 and it's also called Honey and it's for tan skin golden undertones. Even though I haven't tried this foundation before, um uh, again I did a lot of research and like saw a ton of YouTube videos again to find the perfect shade and I saw a few people who are similar to my skin tone use this foundation. Uh so I just guessed it and I got um the shade Y524. So basically there are three categories of undertone. warm cool and neutral and if you're not sure which category you fall in then there is a trick to find out what your undertone is for that you need to observe your veins well and if you see here uh, which color my veins are in um, and my veins are in like green color and i'm not sure if you can see that through the camera well or not uh so if you have like a greenish color veins then that means that you have a yellow undertone like me if your veins look blue or they have a purple shade then that means that you have cool undertone and if your veins are colorless or they match your skin exactly then that means that you have a neutral undertone for me my veins look green in color so i have a warm undertone Let's go ahead and try this foundation and also make sure that you prep your skin really well before like applying any makeup. I think taking care of your skin before applying any makeup is the least anyone can do and by doing your skin care right it will help your makeup last even more longer and it gives you that natural glow to your skin. So make sure you do your skin care before applying your makeup. Now I have already washed my face and did my skin care and filled in my brows and uh, applied some concealer and a primer so that I don't have to do that in this video and I can just directly go ahead and show you how this foundation looks on my skin. I usually take very small amount of any foundation and just apply one layer on my face and if I feel like I need more foundation and more coverage then I can always build it up. I don't usually just apply my foundation at once. So I'm taking this much So I'm taking this much foundation and I hope this will be enough for me and if not I can always build it up. And since this foundation is full coverage I think that it this should be good. And I'm going to use a beauty blender to apply this foundation because I don't usually like to use brushes because I feel like even though you get like full coverage I feel like it doesn't give you that natural look. And since a beauty blender takes away a lot of product I know that's that's not what you expect but th this really gives you the natural finish and uh, that's what I'm aiming for. Since I already have my concealer, I'm just going to apply my foundation on my cheek. I usually just apply my foundation on one side of my face first and then just go to the second side. And make sure your beauty blender is wet to blend this foundation easily and also for even application. forget your neck 
So this side of my face, I applied one layer of foundation, and this side of my face, I haven't applied any foundation. Initially, I thought that the amount of foundation that I squeezed on my hand would be enough for my entire face, but that's not true. I almost used the entire product that I had on my hand for just half of my face. Uh, I'm just going to like continue by doing this side of my face, and as you can see, this foundation is really thick. It's not watery at all. It just sticks to your hand. <laughs> one layer of this foundation did not fully cover my uh, dark spots and I think I know the reason why because I used a beauty blender instead of a brush if you use a brush you get a full coverage but if you use a beauty blender then this beauty blender is going to uh, take up half of the product so I think that's the reason why and I don't mind going in with the second layer because uh, for the first layer I didn't take much product and I also used beauty blender but right now I don't feel the need to have uh, like an extra layer of foundation on my face. I feel like that just makes my skin look even more cakey So I'm just going to just cover up my dark spots that I have here with this foundation uh, Rather than just covering my entire face So I just took this much of foundation just to cover these two dark spots And what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to use a beauty blender because again, it's going to take up a lot of product so right now I'm just going to uh, take my fingers and just dab it in the area where I have dark spots so this would ensure that you would have like some sort of coverage and also gives you that natural look and I'm going to do the same for this side as well and finally I'm going to just go in with the beauty blender just once to spread this evenly and I'm done so I just finished applying my foundation. I just applied one layer of this foundation and um, just went ahead with the second layer just to fill in my dark spots. So this is how my skin looks after applying this foundation. And you can see that this gave my skin that natural finish and it does not look cakey at all. So these are the few claims that this foundation makes. It says that it's oil free, full coverage and it's lightweight and it never cakes, flakes or fades. And I must say these are absolutely true. And it says that it's lightweight and I must say that this is absolutely true because the foundations that I've used so far, whenever I use them, I feel like something is sitting on my face. I don't feel like they were lightweight. But with this foundation, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. It's like I just applied a moisturizer and I'm just having a good skin day and my skin is naturally looking like this. And it doesn't feel heavy at all. So that is really great. And this foundation also says that it does not oxidize on your skin and I must say that it is so true because since I've applied this foundation I don't see that it oxidizes on my skin or my foundation turning a bit darker and I must say that is a really nice thing to have in any foundation because what you see is what you get right so that is really cool. After trying out this foundation I finally understood why this foundation is called matte velvet skin because I can see that this foundation gave my skin that matte finish and also it's not too matte that it's drying on my skin it also gives you that hydration and natural glow to your skin and hence the name velvet so I think that's the reason why it's called matte velvet skin so the reason why I'm obsessed with this foundation after trying this foundation for myself is because this makes my skin look like skin and if you see my skin properly uh, you wouldn't uh, notice that I had like much foundation on and so that's the look I'm going for and that's the reason why I'm obsessed with this foundation. That is it for this video guys and I hope you all find the right foundation shade for you and I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that we both can be YouTube friends and also make sure you hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you in my next video until then take care. Bye.